uh, so I, I'm recommending, the, so far I've not watched very many Egyptian films. In fact, I've only watched one Egyptian film, and that is the film I'm recommending, which is um, uh, Cairo Station, directed by Yusuf Shaheen, um, and uh, from 1958. Uh, and it is a, a very economical one hour and 17 minutes long. Um, and it is absolutely brilliant. Um, the reason I'm recommending it is because at least at time of recording, um, and uh, or at least uh, when I watched it, which was very recently, yes, it has been added to Netflix. Um, and actually, a lot of his films have been added to Netflix. I'm not sure exactly why. I'm probably for um, you know um, the market in that part of the world. Um, but seriously, people, this uh, this guy, um, uh, you know, uh, this 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 um, this this director, Yusuf Shaheen, has got. Uh, he's got serious chops and and it is um you know these films are very well known in that part of the world but um mm -hmm. i don't think have become that famous elsewhere but this is um uh this is certainly one of the best known of those movies and it is um astonishing and it all takes place at a at the main train station in cairo hence the name of the movie and it is around um cairo yes <laughs> Uh, but actually Cairo, not, uh, you know, Tunisia uh, masquerading as Cairo as in, in uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark. Um, yeah. The, um, you know, the plot uh, centers around um, the, um, the, the the shop that's run by uh, a guy called Mabuli. Um, and he has this um, assistant who he's kind of taken in uh, because he's, um, uh, he's, he's, he's got a, a um, you know he's dis he's he is disabled uh he has a bad leg um and he's uh his name is kanawi and he's played by the director <laughs> yeah Wonderful he's played by the <laughs> yeah. we're all very he's happy played... for right, shut up Sorry. um he's <laughs> we can't quote the big lebowski every episode yeah doggy will send us more emails and it will be bad um yes. the um uh yusuf shaheen plays kanawi and kanawi is um you know he's disabled he gets mocked a lot for his uh his disability you know and um uh but he is uh, he becomes obsessed with uh one of the women who lives in the station there's this group of amazing young women who essentially like steal lemonade from the vendors at the station and run onto trains to sell them there mm -hmm. and make money that way and they're always being chased around by the police and they're just this like ragtag bunch of um ne'er-do-wells and um, but they're all just really wonderful um and the leader of this group is called Hanuma, and she's played by Hind Rustam, I can't remember, or Hind Rustam, um, who was um, who's an amazing actress, and I'd never seen her before, obviously, uh, but she was known as the 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 North African Marilyn Monroe, essentially. Oh wow, um, that's interesting. I would go as I would go as far as to say that actually that she is, I I've, I'm like obsessed with her now. She is incredible and and like astonishingly um, like ravishing to look at and just like. A great actress and just full of like life and um sensuality and just like for a film of the 1950s the late 1950s and for a film from what i've always assumed to be quite a conservative society or at least i would have assumed then was quite conservative okay and just the cops are coming yeah no it's a fire engine sorry just All right, in case, okay, no, just in case you hear like uh the audio or something like that. um the uh, yeah so she's like i'm assuming you know from quite a conservative place i mean but but she is just like i mean this is her performance is more sensual and more like um erotic than i think anything i've seen in any film from anywhere else from like the late 50s um cool it, it's quite astonishing and and done without like you know the the bond levels of like you know putting people in bikinis and stuff like it's it's really it's just it's all in the performance she's just incredible and um and Kanawi becomes obsessed with her. She's engaged to be married to um, uh, uh, Abu Siri, who's played by Farid Shauki. And um, he's kind of like the leading man in the film. And he's interesting because he's trying to like unionize mm -hmm. uh, all the people in the station. So there's like a sort of political angle going on. And so the story unfolds that it's, it's essentially a bit of a tragedy where Kanawi's obsession grows into, um, uh, you know, a kind of a murderous obsession. Um, mm -hmm. And... Um, and so, you know, it, the situation goes from being sort of gently humorous to being actually very dangerous. All the while, there's this sort of unfolding question of like labor rights and so on. And, you know, in an hour and 20 minutes, you just get this journey um, 
through um you know and all using this one location um and and it just is really interesting because you know they have um you know at one point there's like a bit where there's like rock and roll music is being played and you see this sort of tension between the old and the new and you see um because the passengers coming into this train station there are some who are like very conservative and wearing you know traditional garb and others who are like dressed like um uh kids now and you know or, or like modern kids in the in the in the 50s and, yeah. and early 60s you know rock and rollers or whatever you want to call them and um you know there's stuff about there's this really interesting subplot about a couple who um are in love but can't be together and who um you, you know have to sort of there's this very poignant uh, moment where they have to say goodbye at the train station but they can't actually like say goodbye to each other and it's just um it's incredibly moving and and interesting and looks at like i want to learn more about like what was the what were the politics of egypt at this time as regards to like sexual freedom and youth culture mm. and stuff and like how has that shifted since and you know um it just seems to ask a lot of questions and i think it was quite um i think it was quite controversial and i think probably would still be considered so um and um i just think that he has he says so much in in this hour and 20 minute noir um for one of a better genre i mean it's not really it there's it you has could noir even qualities like, yeah you could sort of say it's like it has a it has also a little bit of like neorealism and um so a bit like uh, the italian it feels, very, fam it feels very familiar certainly in terms of style to other stuff that's being made in this like 15 year period from like the late 40s to the early 60s yeah uh, it's black and white cinematography is gorgeous um the acting's all really really good um is it very and, minimalist um, in its dialogue or is it quite dialogue heavy uh no there's there's good dialogue i mean is it's it's not um there are certain scenes where that, that really play on um wordlessness and and stuff but there's, it's very dialogue driven yeah um and uh you know arabic's a beautiful language to listen mm. to and um it's um yeah it's just just um it's it's a really just a, a delightful way to spend time um you know with a film I, I i don't know of many other films i've watched recently that have made that kind of a lasting impact and so i think while it's on netflix go and watch it because i haven't seen it anywhere else i'm sure that i mean it's a very famous film in egypt in that part of the world it's a famous film among enthusiasts um you know it makes it, i think in um the story of film mark cousins devotes a lot of time to yusuf shaheen but um it still is um when films like this kind of come across your your radar you should pounce on them so i don't know if it's on netflix in europe but it definitely is here um so if you're listening yeah. americans go watch cairo station no i think it might be on netflix here because i've been looking at like the classic section and they do have a lot of those movies from and I, I assume egypt or in the middle east and that part of the world so i might check and see if it's actually here and give it a watch because it sounds like a really interesting movie yeah you should definitely definitely yeah it's a shame sometimes when these movies that have such a great impact and they come from you know all walks of life and sometimes they it's nice work people like scorsese he like you know restores and keeps films and you know people can see them for years but often like it's sad sometimes when you know it's you know you can't get hold of them again so it's nice that places like netflix or like movie or something like that they always put out like all these movies that are really hard to get a hold of because of course you know dvds kind of maybe go out of stock or something so it's you know it's not i think that's great that we, we yeah we, making we, making stuff available is yeah the best thing we can do I and mean, it is sad that so many films are lost i mean films from the silent era for example um so you know you can't take them for granted and um yeah, exactly. so that's you know and it's I, I do think it's hey one of those when you have the chance watch good movies i mean it's so tempting i'm one of those people who will when faced with um what re-watching an old favorite or watching a film that i haven't seen before but has a great reputation i'm always a little bit drawn to just like play it safe and watch the old favorite but um you should embrace new stuff yeah, and, I, um, I mean i i do as well i mean i have like whole new films i haven't seen before so i'm looking forward to watching them and i have films of worlds with films uh, foreign films from world cinema that i haven't watched yet and i'm looking forward to watching them like i'm just just i like collecting all these kind of different kinds of films I mean, I know you do. Um, yeah. I've seen, I've seen your apartment. Um, <laughs> but yeah, anyway, Cairo Station by Yusuf Shahin is uh, sorry, Yusuf Shaheen is um, is my uh, uh, is my recommendation. It is one of the most um, heartfelt recommendations I think I've made in this sequence, and I think um, it is well worth an hour and twenty minutes of your time.
Sounds really good. I really like the sound of this movie. I'm going to definitely see if it's on Netflix here. 